Hi and very welcome. My name is Mary. This is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money. Please excuse my look. I just got out of the shower wearing my Missoni bathrobe. Not having my hair done or makeup on. Just did my eyebrows real quick so I do not look like a ghost completely. <laughs> But I couldn't be bothered to get ready for this video. Since maybe YouTube won't recommend it to many people anyways. So maybe it's not even worth the hustle of getting ready or maybe not even filming this video. So this is a quick rant because I'm really concerned and mad right now and I'm going to share with you why I might have to delete my latest video on a Bottega Veneta pouch that I got thrifted from the flea market. I had a fun little idea for a series for which I even got a jingle and now I'm too scared and worried to even go on with that series and film other videos like that. I even do consider to delete my latest video. Super Day Cop recently uploaded a video called Hold on, I have to look it up. A warning to all luxury YouTubers why your favorite content creators might get banned from YouTube. Of course, I will link you the video down in the description box so you can check it out yourself. Of course, after you finished watching my little rant video. The lovely Danny from Practical Mommy Loves Luxury brought that Super Day Cup video to my attention. And of course, I will link her channel in the description box as well, since she really is a gem. And if you hear my neighbors laughing every now and then, I'm really sorry. They seem to have fun out in the garden. Basically, Jacob explains that around the two last weeks, there has been a huge purge in the luxury watch community with channels getting banned and deleted because YouTubers talking about fame too scared to say the word. Basically watches that pretend to be something they are not for a fraction of the price. Guess you know what I'm trying to say. To not get in trouble I won't say the word in this video. Jacob states that not just people get in trouble that actively do promote these Fs but also the ones who might compare the real deal to the Fs even if it's supposed to be kind of educational to prevent others from getting tricked and to raise awareness for this problematic topic. I don't know if Jacob maybe is a little bit over dramatic here and I really hope he is since if it is exactly the way he thinks it is that would be quite undemocratic censorship from YouTube and I just don't want it to be true for YouTube. I totally get that it's not okay to promote Fs and I would never do so anyways. It's against the YouTube guidelines and buying and selling them is illegal in many countries as well. So of course it's not the best idea to make the content of your videos be about that topic and YouTube can delete videos that make this the only topic and promoting that subject. There are laughing the neighbors. I lost what I wanted to say. So YouTube can delete this problematic videos with every right, of course. But Jacob states that even just talking about the subject or comparing real and F, maybe helping people to spot Fs or even sharing your thrift finds that might possibly be inauthentic. <laughs> Oh, bad word here. Could be problematic. And he states that channels from luxury YouTubers might just get banned and deleted without any warning from YouTube, even if you never ever had a problem with the guidelines before. If this really is true, I'm sad, I'm mad, I'm concerned. And I guess the only thing I can do to be safe is delete my latest video, which I really did enjoy because I loved the idea of the series. Is it real or is it F helped me to authenticate where I wanted to share my designer thrift finds with you and ask for your opinion on them if you think it is authentic or and the interesting thing here is that I could already notice that YouTube didn't like my last video to begin with. The people who were watching that video did watch it for a longer time than they tend to watch some of my other videos. Usually when that happens, YouTube, the algorithm thinks it's a good video and starts to recommend it to more people and then more people are watching and more people are watching. And that's the best thing that can happen to you as a YouTuber. But in this case, the people who were watching were watching the video for a long amount of time, yet still YouTube did not promote and recommend it to many
many other people. And therefore it got way less clicks than some of my other videos do. My first thought why that might be has been maybe people are just not that interested in Bottega Veneta. But now I think it's more likely that the algorithm really is trying not to recommend that particular video to too many people because it might think it might be a problematic topic mentioning Fs even though I state very clearly in the video that I'm against Fs and I'm not promoting them at all. <sighs> Yeah, just wanted to get that out there real quick. I hope when editing this video I won't regret my just out of the shower look. I hope I'm confident enough to put this out there. If you see this video, I have been confident enough. I think that might be worth a thumbs up for me. What are your thoughts on this topic? Have you already heard about it? Do you think YouTube really is deleting channels from the luxury community without a warning just because they might talk about Fs? and might even raise awareness for the topic and not promote it in a positive way. And do you think I should delete my latest video about the Bottega Veneta pouch from the flea market just to be extra safe? Better be safe than sorry, because I clearly do not want to promote anything bad at all. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time in a more glamorous look and bye. And if you hear my name and if you hear, m